Hi, in this video we are going to implement the rotations. So we will have the left rotation and the right rotation of course. So we have the rotate right, it gets a node as a parameter and we just have to rotate that given node to the right. So first I'm going to print out that rotating to the right on node and we just have to append the node.data, okay? And we just have to create a temporary left child. It's going to be initialized to be the node.left child. Then we have a t, usually it's denoted by t, so that's why I use the same. It is going to be the temp left child dot right child. So we would like to rotate the root node to the right. So we get this left child of the root node, it's going to be the temporary left child, and we store this, so the temporary left child, right child, in the t variable. Because as you can see, we have to set this c to be the left child of the d after the rotation. And this b, so the node we would like to rotate to the right, its left child is going to be the root node after the rotation as you can see. So this is why we have the temporary left child as the nodes.left child and the t is the right child of the temporary left child. Then we have to initialize these variables accordingly. We just have to update the references. So we set the temporary left child right child is equal to the node this is what we have been discussing. This node is the root node before the rotation. It's going to be the right child of the temporary left child because this temporary left child is going to be the root node after the rotation. And then we set the node left child is equal to the t. So temporary left child, right child is the node and the node left child is the t. So this is the t before the rotation and it's going to be the left child of the node because this is the node we would like to rotate to the right and it is the right child of the temporary node after the rotation. Okay, so basically that's all about it. We just have to update the haste parameters accordingly. So the haste parameter is equal to the maximum out of the self.calculate haste parameter for the node.left child and uh, self.calculate haste parameter for the node.right child. This is how we calculate the haste, as you may recall. We have to increment it by one. What does it mean? That we calculate the haste for the left subtree, then for the right subtree, we get the maximum and we increment it by one. This is exactly what we have been discussing in a theoretical section. I'm going to copy and paste it because we have to recalculate the haste parameter for the temporary left child as well. So temporary left child haste is equal to the max. We calculate the left child and then the right subtree's haste parameter and we increment it by one. Okay, so that's all about it. At the end, we just have to return with the temporary left child, which is going to be the root node after the rotation. So this is the temporary left child, and after the rotation, as you can see, it is the root node. Okay, and basically, it's going to be the same as far as the left rotation is concerned, so I'm going to copy and paste it, sorry for that. Rotate to the left. We rotate to the left on the given node, we have the temporary right child of course, with the node dot right child, then we have the temporary right child of node right child, the t is equal to the temp right child dot get left child of course, then we just have to update it, sorry, right child Instead of right child, of course, it's going to be the left child. The node dot right child is equal to the t. Right child is equal to the t. And we update the node height. Calculate the node left child, node right child. It's going to remain the same. And the temporary right child with the temporary right child here as well. 
and you just have to return with the temporary right child. Let's save it. As you can see, basically the right rotation and the left rotation is exactly the same, but in the symmetric order in the sense that if we rotate this D to the right, of course we have to rotate the B to the left, but anyways, we just have to do everything in the opposite direction. And that's why after rotating to the right and then rotating to the left, we are going to end up with the same subtree. We just have to make sure that the right child of the root node, which is the B, is going to be the root node after the left rotation. And this C, what is the, as we call it in the source code, it is the T parameter. It is the left child of this D node, and it's going to be the right child of the B after the left rotation. So it is the same as the right rotation, but basically instead of left child, we just have to specify the right child and instead of right rotation we just have to rotate to the left and so on but it's quite symmetric so that's all about the rotations and it's quite fast these rotations we can do it in order of one constant time complexity because as you can see basically we just have to update the references and then we just have to calculate the haze parameters but because we have the haze parameters assigned to every single node it's very very fast okay so that's all about the right rotation and the left rotation. In the next video, we are going to implement the insert method. But basically, the insert method relies heavily on these helper methods. So that's why we had to start with them. Thanks for watching.